Hey guys and welcome back to the 52 week project. I know I've been very slow with this series but we are up to week number 26 this week. So this is officially halfway through the project although even though I haven't put up the extra videos that I have waiting on my computer um, I'm actually quite a bit further along than 26 but we'll get to that later. So 26 weeks is done, half of this project is done and I'm pretty hopeful with how the rest of the year is going to go at this rate. Um, I do have a little bit of catching up to do still but it's pretty promising I think overall. So this week's photo shoot I did with Jamie from Vivian's Models and she was really into uh, vintage fashion and it was really handy because I did kind of have a bit of a vintage shoot planned which was really lucky because I actually told her to bring quite a few vintage pieces along and communicated that across in the mood board as well. So she did bring along a lot of different pieces of clothing which I thought were really cool. Um, she did a lot of vintage shopping and I was really happy with the overall styling of the shoot in the end. For this shoot we did a morning scheduled shoot and we just walked around some of the suburbs of Melbourne and uh, went to a couple of the parks nearby as well. I wanted it to have quite a suburban feel to it and I think we achieved that in the end. It was a pretty quick shoot. Week number 20 26 and 27 were quite quick shoots because I had to fit them in in a morning session together pretty much. So it was really good. Um, I really liked how the images came out in the end. I think I could have probably pushed a lot further and I'll probably go into that a little bit more later on when I'm talking about what I could have done better. I think I could have probably prepared once again a little bit better for these shoots. Um, I tend to have a really bad reoccurring issue of that happening. Um, but having said that, if you've watched my previous video on becoming a freelancer finally, um, you'll see why I've been so busy and why things haven't been planned out that well. So that's part of the reason why. Here's some of the behind the scenes for this shoot. And then I'm going to go into my final selections and tell you guys what I liked and what I didn't like. my final edits for the week and I'm just going to go through them one by one as I usually do and tell you guys what I like and don't like so much. So this is my first photo of the week and this photo is actually going to be in my top five. I really like Jamie's facial expression in this photo and I really like the styling. I like how the colorings really come together and I think uh, Jamie's skin looks really cool with her freckles really standing out. Uh, I just I really like her expression overall so I think that's why it's going to be in my top five this week. This is the second photo for the week and this is actually also going to be in my top five. I really like how I took a different angle with this one. I got a little bit lower and I kind of like once again the facial expression that Jamie's giving and actually also the pose. I really like that too. I think that's why I chose this over some of the others because some of the others didn't have as stronger poses so I thought that this one would be a nice mix and that's why it's in my top five this week. 
I really like this photo overall, but I do think that there's things that could be changed about it. I feel like if I'd zoomed in a little bit or even cropped in this photo, I think just to show the top half of the photo, um, I just find the, the bottom part quite distracting and I think that's why I don't like it as much. I also think that the pose could have been slightly stronger and also the facial expression, so it's not going to be in my top five this week. This photo is going to be in my top five and I really do like how everything came together in this shot. Um, there's not too much I would change about it. I do think maybe the pose could be a little bit stronger. I think there's quite a few photos here where that could have been the case and that does come down to my direction as well. But I do really think that Jamie looks great in this shot and it's really showing off the clothing quite well. So that's why it's going to be in my top five. This photo is also going to be my top five and I just really like how natural this shot looks and I actually love Jamie's expression as well. I think she looks very natural, very raw and really cool. Um, I do think that the clothing is still being shown off quite well and it doesn't even look like we're shooting around Melbourne in this photo. It kind of looks like we're out on a farm or out near farmland. So I think it kind of makes for an interesting shot, especially in black and white. And I'm pretty glad that I did choose to convert it to black and white because I think it just gives it that extra feeling. So that's why it's going to be in my top five. And this photo is the final photo in my top five this week. And in the end, I chose this photo over the others because I think that it does have a nice simplicity about it. And I don't really put too many portraits, uh, closer up portraits in my top fives anymore. So I thought it'd be a nice change this week to still be showing part of the clothing and part of the pattern and still keeping like a nice portrait uh, in the top five. So that's why it's going to be in there this week. This photo is really pretty and I think it's a very typical shot for me uh, as are a lot of the, the shots I think from this week. I do think I could have pushed the boundaries a little bit more and especially with this particular shot because I don't feel like there's anything necessarily spectacular happening in it. It's not the most exciting shot and that's why it's not going to be in my top five. This photo also kind of has that feeling and there's just a few distracting elements. I feel like I didn't quite get the composition right. I think there's too much green, too much grass in this shot and I do think it's quite distracting up the top having the fence and the graffiti and also a little bit of the sky. It just doesn't really match up for me. I also feel like the coloring and the toning didn't work as well on this image and I just couldn't get it right. I think it's because there was that really large amount of green in the photo and it just wasn't meshing well with the, the pinker tones. So I think that's why I wasn't as keen on this shot. I still like it. I think it's pretty, but it's not going to be in my top five. This photo is actually, I, I think it's pretty cool. I like uh, Jamie's pose in this shot, actually, and this is why I chose this to be a final edit. I do think that there's a lot of, that could be a lot stronger about this shot and in particular, I do think that I could have gotten even a little bit lower on the ground. I think I could have used potentially a wider aperture to blur out some of the background and in particular the cars. I think they can be quite distracting at times. So that's why I'm not 100% keen on this image and I do think that there's a lot of white washing out the image because of the backlight. So I do think that it could have been angled a little bit better so the lighting wasn't as uh, overexposed and I do think that's kind of a bit distracting in this shot so it's not going to be in my top five. And this is my last shot for the week and it has a very similar feel to the previous image. I do like how it turned out in the end but I do think it's still a little bit too much with the flare and I think it would have been nice to get a little bit more detail in Jamie's face for this shot so it's not going to be in my top five this week. Overall this was my favorite image for the week and I really love how it turned out. I love the composition of it. I do really like Jamie's pose, even though I think it could have been a little bit stronger. And I really like her expression too. I think it really does show the clothing quite well in this shot too. So I, that's another reason why I picked this to be my number one, because I'm trying to get that sort of routine going with a lot of my images and making sure that I am showing off the clothes the best that I can, because that's so important with fashion photography. So that's why it's my top photo for the week and I hope you guys like it. So one thing that I think I could have done better this week is definitely due to the fact that it wasn't prepared well, this shoot. Um, I really felt like it was a bit of a last minute thing for me to get everything together in a mood board. And I don't think I really took the time to set everything out and actually do a look that I was really, really happy with. I was happy with the images in the end, but I feel like compared to some of the other shoots I've had recently, it just wasn't sitting at that level that I wanted it to. Um, one thing I 
think I did well is I think I was pretty good with the direction again this week and with Jamie and trying to get out some interesting poses and expressions and that sort of thing and I think she did pretty well with that as well. I also love the fact that she did some amazing styling so that's not really something that I did well on my part but something that she did really well and I was really happy for. Now it is time for me to announce this week's featured photographer and it is Steve Myers from the 52 week project photography group. So he's posted a few really cool shots and I'm going to put a few of those clips in just now and I've also put his social media links in this video and in the description box below so go check his work out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos for the 52 week project because I'm planning on doing something a little bit different hopefully now we're past the halfway mark and maybe just kind of spicing it up a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys so let me know what you think. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!